Hi, and thanks for joining us. In this video, we're going to look at taking your Infoworks 360 model into two common platforms for further analysis or visualization, Revit and 3ds Max. With Revit, we can simply select any bridge in the Infoworks 360 model and right-click to send to Revit. Now, if you are not on a local coordinate system, you will need to update the model properties like you see here. So select something that makes sense and click OK, and then repeat the process again. Right click, send to Revit. Once you complete that process, it'll take a few minutes. So grab a cup of coffee, come back, and you'll find that Revit is open and waiting for you with your model ready to go. Switch to the View tab and then the 3D View, Default 3D View, and you'll see your bridge right inside of Revit ready for rebar or other structural design. Pretty simple to take that piece of Infoworks 360 right into the structural engineer's domain. For high-end rendering, you might want to use 3ds Max. To take Infoworks 360 to 3ds Max, you'll use an FBX file format. Export a 3D model, and then I like to select a polygon that represents the area I want to use inside of 3ds Max. Select that boundary, and then if you double click to finish the selection and realize that you need to edit it, notice in the dialog that there's a small button right next to the define where you can then edit and update. So if you pick an area that's a little too big, don't worry, you can always make a change. It's pretty simple to update. Once you're done making that edit, right click to exit edit mode and you'll be back in the dialog. There you can type in a file name so that it's easy to find the model that you are exporting and then click the export button. This won't take very long at all and you'll be left with an XB FBX ready for import into 3ds Max. In 3ds Max, you or your visualization expert can simply import that 3D model that you just exported. Using the import button, scroll down and find the FBX file. And then when it offers you the options, I generally think it's a good idea to change the preset to the Autodesk Architectural. This will allow things to translate a little bit easier. A few seconds later, you'll see all of the elements that were vis visible in Infoworks 360 have been brought into 3ds Max for further rendering or analysis or animation. Thanks for watching this video. To learn more, join the Infoworks 360 community by visiting the website on your screen. There you'll see forums, the idea station for sharing your ideas, and infra tips where you can learn more ways to make Infoworks 360 a more powerful part of your infrastructure workflow. Thanks again.